Welcome back my dear light bolts to another anime related video and this one I will be talking about the anime series Slam Dunk. So in this video there will be spoilers uh, but before I dive into any spoilers it's gonna be in spoiler free section so this is it right now. So Slam Dunk is a series that came out in the 1990s. Let me see exactly what year. Um, and it's a very popular series in Japan, one of the top 10 selling mangas of all time in Japan as well. So that goes to show you how popular this series was. So the original run was from October 1st, 1990 to June 17th, 1996. So six years of, of running in the Shonen Jump magazine, which is really awesome. And it also got a, there was a slam dunk movie that released this year as well so that is really really awesome so the characters in slam dunk the protagonist his name is hanamichi and he is the funniest one of the funniest shonen protagonists in a long time so uh fun fact i actually read the slam dunk manga a couple of years ago but i never watched the anime and because i'm in japan right now at, with the recording of this video I actually saw that Slam Dunk was on Netflix because when you're in different regions and stuff, different countries, Netflix has different shows and Slam Dunk was there with the English subtitles and I, I knew I had to take advantage and watch it. Now, I'm not completely done with the series. I'm on season three right now. There's eight seasons on Netflix. So when I get back to the States, I got to find the show some way, somehow. All right. So Kanamichi, he's a very tall character. He's around six one or six two he has red hair makes him stand out a lot from the other characters which is cool he has a very goofy personality and he always calls himself a self-proclaimed genius on the basketball court so the story starts with hanamichi he's in high school it's his first year in high school and later on we find out that hanamichi is not really too good with the girls so he always gets rejected in middle school he got rejected 50 times <laughs> 50 rejections is crazy right so in high school he tries again and stuff and he has a group of friends that's always with him so they call it the sakuragi gang because hanamichi's uh is hanamichi sakuragi that's his full name so basically he meets this girl named haruko and haruko is the one that introduced him to the basketball team and then the rest is history he joins the basketball team and he just keeps saying i'm a genius i'm a genius but in reality He's, he's not a genius, but he has height and stuff. He has height and he has heart. So that's how the story starts out. Uh, I like that this series dives into different things. There's fights in the series, not just ba on the basketball court. I'm actually talking about fist fights and stuff, which I'm like, wow, this is crazy. And it just has that 90s feel, that 90s animation that I really, really do like. I think I like the 90s animation so much because I grew up with Pokemon uh, the original Pokemon, uh, Dragon Ball Z, and, and things like that. I just like that, that 90s feel, the art style is really cool. And then the protagonist, he has a pompadour haircut, uh, which was very popular in the 90s in Japan and stuff. So the way Hanamichi interacts with the other characters, the other basketball players, and the characters in general is just hilarious. Let me just say 30 yen. 30 yen. When you get, if you watch this series, you know what I'm talking about. So that episode was so funny very funny there's a lot of funny scenes serious moments uh there's romance in the series as well even though hanamichi got rejected so many times he, he he's he still keeps a positive mindset so that that's really good uh but i don't know in middle school what hanamichi was doing like, this dude was on his johnny bravo getting rejected by every girl so that's the spoiler free section of the video now there will be spoilers so if you do not want to get spoiled leave the video now so you have been warned so basically the team right now where i'm watching consists of hanamichi he says mitsui I, it's easier to say his name mitsui akagi miyagi rukawa kogure so the starting five in the last episode i watched is well, it, they didn't start because there was a whole thing with Mitsui's backstory and how uh, basically he used to be originally in the basketball team and then he left and all these things happened. That was a really great backstory for him. And I just like the interactions between all of them. And then Rukawa is like this laid back guy that doesn't really say much. <laughs> and, and, and basically because of that, he sees Miyagi 
Mitsui and, and Sakuragi as all new and like uh, annoying. Like he just sees them as annoying, and it, it's just so funny. And they they're all great basketball players. Where I'm at in the series, Hanamichi's all right so far. Like uh, they are just starting to enter high and stuff. So this should be very interesting to see. I like that Kagi so strong. Uh, it's his last year of high school as well. He's a third year, so this is the last time you know they have before. Uh, basically, they could win the championship, right? Which I don't know if they do win. I forgot if they win the championship or not. To tell you the truth, I think when I read the slam dunk manga, uh, actually, I'm not going to spoil that. But yeah, they have a slam dunk movie. So I'm literally just watching the series, all of it, uh, to watch the movie whenever that comes out on Crunchyroll. Because I know sometimes it takes like <clears throat> seven to eight months or even longer. But, you know, I'm patient because I'm behind on every single anime uh a lot of manga like i'm behind on, on everything right now but I, i'll catch up eventually i also like that miyagi like his love for ayako and stuff we, we literally have miyagi's love for ayako and then we have uh haramichi's love for haruko it, it's just so funny because it looks like ayako might like akagi but Akagi is just focused on basketball, then Miyagi's focused on basketball, but he's also focused on Ayako. I don't know, it, it's so interesting. And then we have the rest of the characters and stuff. But yeah, that, the Mitsui stuff, when he had that gang and stuff, uh, fighting the basketball court in the gym, gymnasium and stuff, it was really crazy to see. That was a really great episode. But I'm going to keep watching it. I'm going to try to watch as many episodes as I can while I'm here in Japan. And then when I come back to the States, I hopefully go back and keep watching because sometimes I just fall off with, with things. But this series is so entertaining that I don't think that's actually going to happen. So yeah, Slam Dunk, uh, my rating of it so far, it's a really good series. I really like it. Uh, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. Maybe when I finish it completely, maybe it'll be a 9 out of 10.